Hi there folks, today we've got the British Pattern Survival Knife. This is the wood version and it's also known as the MOD knife. Its brand is by Arthur Wright and it's made in Sheffield, it's Sheffield Steel, it's Sheffield Carbon Steel. Its blade is phosph phosphated carbon steel. It measures 7 inch. Now, as it comes, it's blunt. It, so what I've done is I popped it on my Lansky, used the coarse, and then finished it off. The handle as it comes, it comes with the wood overhanging, which means so that your hands aren't directly touching the steel. So what this does is it prevents you getting cold hands essentially. But I didn't like that. So what I was to do is I hand sanded it all down, as you can see, so it's now flush. Then what I've done is I've used some wood filler to fill in these holes so I don't get heat spots or blisters when using it. So I'm going to use it as a camping slash buff, um, bushcraft knife. knife. So I've stained it after I've rubbed it all down and shaped it. I've rounded it off around here because it's quite square as it comes. As you can see there's the number on it. Just there. It's nearly worn off now. So as it comes, it comes as quite a crude tool. Now one of the major faults I noticed is as it comes, these sheaths, the retaining straps up here. Now this is the simplest mod I've thought of that can make this sheaf usable because out the box it's unusable because with the strap being up at the top this knife can fall out to about here now if that was sharp that could result in quite a nasty injury really because you'd get a big slash on your side or something so what I've done is when you get it I've turned it round as you can see that's where the washer was and the back side of the rivet now what you need to do is get a battery drill or a mains plug-in drill and drill the back of the rivet out and then push it out beware this will be hot so I used it with a screwdriver to push it out so I didn't get burnt then what I've done is you get a belt hole punch and what I've used is you could use any sort of bolt you want is I've used an allen bolt and a nylon lock nut and a washer I've used the nylon lock, lock nut so it does not come out and then what I've done is I've got the Dremel to it, rounded it off so it's not so it's not coarse and it's not going to hurt me. And then I've also flattened this. Now I could have gone all the way and rounded it even flatter, but at this point it's just less than a millimetre, so it's not not really going to cause any problems. So this, as it is, does its job, and I shall just show you. That's as bad as it gets. So for a cheap, a cheap bodge job, that is as good as it gets. If I was to do it again, I would probably try to force this down that little bit more. I could get another five mil maybe. And now that would make it so only a little bit could come out like that. So it hasn't completely cancelled that out, but there's no actual blade showing, so you're not gonna get cut. You can, however, buy an aftermarket one which I found on eBay that's around £15 so if you wanted to buy an aftermarket I could recommend that or as a cheap little mod I'd recommend doing that now as it comes as I've previously mentioned it is terribly blunt you could attempt to slash your hands and not cut yourself but if you're prepared to do a bit of work and a little modification and you're quite hands on I'd really recommend this for a survival knife or a bushcraft knife now I have read a story where someone posted on YouTube that they had actually literally survived in America with this when they was hit by the hurricanes I've got the Becker BK2 as well which I also love and that's got a very good reputation now a point to mention with this 
is just how thick it is. It weighs around a pound in weight. It is a proper manly knife. It is massive. And as you can see from there, it is quarter of an inch thick. So this is a proper hefty knife. This could be used for battening with no problem whatsoever. This will batten through anything. It really is a tank of a knife. Another part, for some people, this sheath may not be good enough as well, because as it comes, as you can see, it is a left hand carry. I believe this is, is because if a soldier was to carry it, they'd want the right hand on the pistol rather than a knife. So that's my reason and guess that this is why it's left hand carry. But the aftermarket one, which I'm tempted to purchase, can be attached to either side as it's just rectangular. I'm going to do a review where I've bought another aftermarket one for another knife by the same company and it's truly brilliant. But all in all, this is one tank of a knife which will last generations, it will easily outlive me. And I truly recommend it. It's currently ranging between £55 sterling and I've just checked on Heine Haynes and it's at £77 retail for the wood version. Thank you for your time and goodbye.